Thank you to Bespoke Post for sponsoring today's video. Bespoke Post is a monthly membership club delivering a box of awesome top shelf goods from under the radar brands. It's free to join and you can skip a month or cancel anytime. We love that 90% of the products come from small brands, many of which are based right here in the US. Not only are you getting high quality products, you're also getting to support small creators and business owners who you may never have otherwise come across. You can take a preference quiz and Bespoke Post will introduce you to cool new products from outdoor gear to barware, home and kitchen goods, clothing, and more, all based on what's most interesting to you. Every box has around $70 worth of goods inside, but it only costs you a fraction of the value. Bespoke Post also gives you the opportunity to preview your box before it arrives. So once you find out what's in your box of awesome, you can decide to A, keep it, B, swap it out for a different one, or C, skip the month entirely for no charge. You only pay for what you want. Jeremy and I received the Caprese box, which contains a fresh mozzarella making kit, a basil grow kit, a cherry tomato seed starter, and some garlic basil sea salt. This box perfectly combines my love for gardening and Jeremy's love for making pizza. Not only will we use this to create a great meal, it's been a really fun activity doing this together. Our second box was the filet. It contains an eight inch knife and an almost four inch knife. These things are sharp and sleek. We've already been getting a lot of use out of them and Chili likes them too. So thank you so much to Bespoke Post for helping to support our channel and making these videos possible. To get 20% off your first box of awesome, go ahead and click that link in the description below and enter Chili B ASMR 20 at checkout, or just go to bespokepost.com slash Chili B ASMR 20. Thank you and enjoy the video. Hi, Jeremy. Hi. Uh, good to see you again. Um, I see that uh, you've been having some trouble with your scalp. Is that right? Yeah, that's correct. All right. Well, let me get a sense of what's going on. So you've got some tingling you said on the phone? Yeah, tingling in the scalp, um, pretty much to the touch. OK, so when you when you feel your head, yeah. you can feel kind of um, it's like pins and needles kind mm -hmm. of feeling. Yeah, exactly. Okay. And when did this start? Um, about a couple weeks ago. Okay. And did it come on gradually, or did you just notice one day it was feeling tingly? Um, it came came on suddenly. Okay. And is there anything that makes it worse besides touching? Um, yeah. After I shower, it's after worse I after take a shower. hot shower. Hot yeah. shower. Okay. And are you using any shampoos and conditioners that are different? Uh, no. No change in that? Mm -hmm. um, any hats, anything you're wearing on your head that's different than normal? Not really, no. Okay. And have you noticed tingling anywhere else in your body? Um, no. Just that. All right. Any excessive heat or coolness in the scalp? Um, not that I've noticed, no. So I definitely want to take a really thorough look. Um, tingling can be very harmless, but it's something we absolutely need to make sure is nothing more serious. Um, I'm just going to uh, start out by looking at the scalp itself. My light. Starting out just taking a look. I'm looking for any obvious signs. Impact. Um, did you hit your head at all that you remember? Mm, no. Okay. Okay, I'm just doing a basic look. I'm gonna Look much deeper at some point. Any issues with the beard? The hair on the beard? Oh uh, no, not that I've noticed. Okay. Just double check that. Is this causing any of that tingling sensation as I use the tool? Mm, yeah, it is. Okay, is it uh, bearable or do you need me to stop? Oh, uh, no, it's bearable. Okay. 
Yeah, no. She was on the beard, right? Mm-hmm. palpate the head here. You feel it up on the top of your scalp? Mm -hmm. And all the, all over? Yeah. Well, it stops on the sides. It's not as bad on the sides? Mm -hmm. So this feels okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, tell me when you start to feel it. There. Right around here. Mm -hmm. Okay. And if I touch lightly, does it elicit the same Response is if I touch more firmly. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's more just the stimulation, not the amount of pressure. Okay, I want to look at the scalp there, especially along this line with a magnifying tool. And it's just going to project an image back to my screen here. Okay. Start on the side. Okay. So I am seeing a little bit of irritation on the scalp itself. A little bit of dryness. seeing anything that I would think is cause for sensation loss or tingling in the scalp and a little bit of dryness, a little bit of redness and irritation, but let me check the other side. Pretty similar to the sides though. If the sides are not bothering you and the top is, then I wouldn't actually think that's the issue. Okay. Just taking a look at the hair itself. Any itching of the scalp? Um, yeah, a little bit. A little bit of itching. Okay. I wonder if that's from that dryness or if it's linked. I'm going to look through the hair itself. for any brittleness or infestation, anything that could be a sign of something else going on. Looks great, your hair looks really healthy. of really small flakes. It is winter, so maybe prone to dryness.
looks fine. Weird as well. itself. Super healthy. No splitting at the ends. Just feeling for any balding or sudden hair loss in any section. But it looks pretty thick and even. Said hot bot hot water was bothering it, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. And how are you taking quite hot showers or more warm? Mm, I wouldn't say too hot. Not too hot. You're not um, getting any sort of redness or patching along the skin after a shower. No. Okay. I'm not seeing any hair loss or thinning spots. It's all really even. thing with the beard. Nice and thick, even. Texture is a little bit rougher than the hair. That's normal. I'm not sure. I'm not seeing anything super obvious that would be causing that tingling sensation. I do want to test your sensory reactions to make sure that you're feeling everything. Um, just because you have that tingling, you should still be able to feel the pressure and the cold versus the warm, okay? So let's do a few tests there. Yep. So the first thing I have here is just, I'm going to use the back of this, so it's going to feel like that, nice mm -hmm. and light. Um, and I want you to just signal to me when you uh, feel me touch you, okay? okay? So close your eyes and just signal when you feel it touch you. Okay. Good. Okay, so you did have a little bit of delay on the top area, so I want to look at that closer. I just want you to tell me which one feels stronger, okay? Close your eyes and just tell me which one feels stronger, one or two. Um, one. One feels stronger, okay. One. Two. Two. Um, one. Okay. Um, so when I press down on the top here, Jeremy, uh, do you feel that tingling sensation? Mm-hmm. So you feel the pressure of my uh, tool here, uh, but it also has some tingling to it too. Yeah. Okay. Um, I think I want to uh, test a little bit of sharp and dull because that was a lot of, little less hard here than there. So I want to make sure you can differentiate between sharp and dull, okay? Okay. So I have just this little tool, and it has more of a scrapey end, and then this really soft puffy end. I want to first feel, see if you can just feel the puffy end if I place it on the scalp, on the top scalp. Okay, good. So it seems like uh, when I put some pressure down, you're able to feel the soft, um, but if I do it really lightly, you're not able to feel that on the scalp. So now I'm gonna do the sharp or dull, and uh, just tell me if it is this scratchy sensation or the soft by saying sharp or dull, okay? Okay. I'm sharp. Okay. 
Still sharp. Do. Okay. Uh, do. Sharp. 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 Do. Okay. So you can differentiate, so that's good. So it does feel like a different sensation to you. Um, this sharp feel less sharp than this sharp? Or mm -hmm. I'm sorry, let me, let me try that again, I apologize. Does this sh feel as sharp as this? Um, no. Okay, which one's sharper, this one or this one? Uh, the side. This one over here? Mm -hmm. Okay. Tell me when it starts to feel uh, less sh sharp. So I'm going to start down here just by scraping you. That feels normal to you, right? Yeah, it does. Okay, tell me when it stops feeling like that. Oh, around there. Around there, that's when that tingling starts. Mm -hmm. Okay. And do the same thing on the other side. Tell me when it starts feeling different. Mm, right there. Okay. I'm just going to measure that. So right here to about right here, correct? Mm -hmm. right, so you have about a 14 centimeter area there, that's abnormal. Now I'm gonna go from front to back. So does it feel normal on the forehead here? Mm-hmm. Okay, tell me when it stops feeling normal. About there. About there, okay. Mm -hmm. And same thing on the back here. I'm gonna start down below, does that feel normal? Mm-hmm. Okay, tell me when it stops feeling. Around mm, right there. Okay. So, got pretty much from the crown of the head to the back, which is about 19 centimeters. Got a little puff of air here, okay? And I just want you to tell me um, if that makes the sensation on this top worse. Uh, so let's say uh, feeling right here is about a one, comfortable, right? Mm -hmm. I want you to tell me on a scale from one, being comfortable, no pain, discomfort, 10 being excruciating, de debilitating com uh, discomfort. Um, tell me what you're feeling, okay? Um, probably like a three or a four. Okay. Mm, two or three. Okay, so a little worse in the front. Mm, three. Uh, three. Three. Mm, one. Okay, so it's normal there. And I'm going to go side to side now. So again, starting here. Mm, one. Okay. And the three. Three. Ah, uh, three. Okay. Two. And one. Back to normal. Okay. And does that radiate anywhere that tingling or just feels it right on the top of your head and your scalp i'm just right on the top okay. just want to look again palpating it here just want to feel for the temperature i'm just curious it does feel a little bit warmer here on the top of your head than on the sides. Great. Maybe you just have a little bit of like an eczema or something that could be causing you some discomfort. It looks okay. When I pull your hair like that, does that make it much worse? Not too much. Okay, no. so maybe it's not stemming from the follicles then. Any sensation loss in the face? Mm, no. Okay, nothing in the beard. That's all good. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm just thinking it could be possibly stemming from cranial nerve, but can you shrug against me? Okay, that's strong. Can you turn your head against my hand? 
and this side. Okay, everything looks very symmetrical. Have you been sleeping enough lately? Um, probably not. Probably not. Okay, how many um, hours a night have you gotten uh, last night? Uh, probably about six. Okay, and the night before that? Uh, maybe six or seven. Okay, so consistently sleeping under eight hours. How hmm. long has that been going on for? Um, maybe a couple months. A couple months. Okay, wow. So you're not, you're definitely not sleeping enough every night. You feel tired all the time? I'm pretty tired, yeah. Okay. And what are you sleeping on? Is it a pillow? Or pillow, do you sleep pillow. right on the mattress? Pillow, yeah. Pillow, okay. And no changes in the pillow you've been using? Mm, no. Just making sure my suspicion may be that it's actually stemming from being more of a headache and that tingling could just be based on a headache but it is curious that the hot water makes it feel worse so we might be dealing with multiple things here we might be dealing with a little bit of eczema and irritation of the scalp in conjunction with lack of sleep and a bit of a headache that's radiating. Is that any tingling when I press you here on your sinuses? Mm -hmm, no. What about right here? No. Okay. Alright, Jeremy, I, I'm going to be completely honest that I'm not 100% sure what's going on. I'm not super worried that it's anything neurological, um, but I do want to give you a bit of a scalp treatment here. I'm going to just um, use a, a bit of a, a spray that we use for, um, for eczema and for irritation. Um, it could also just be, do you find yourself tossing and turning a lot at night? Yeah. You do. So I, I'm wondering if maybe you're just f irritating the scalp and the follicles and the hair uh, when you're tossing and turning, especially with longer hair, uh, if you're tossing and you're pulling on that scalp mm -hmm. when you do that, when your hair is pulling on it um, at night, you may be irritating in a way that you don't realize. So mm. I'm going to be spraying something into your scalp, just rubbing it in. I'm hoping that that will just calm everything down because I'm not seeing a neurological reason for the for the issue. So you just feel something cool.
sure it's well distributed. And I've stopped touching your scalp. Is that discomfort gone or is there anything lingering from the product? Mm, just a little bit. Just a little, okay. So I really want to see how this helps you. I also think you should consider wearing your hair up at night um, so you're not pulling on it when you're tossing and turning and definitely trying to get that eight hours of sleep will be beneficial. Um, but if it doesn't get better, please come back and we'll do some more tests. Uh, it's just good to do an initial uh, look through, nothing major jumping out at me, but obviously you should, that tingling's uncomfortable and you mm -hmm. shouldn't have it. Okay, do you have any additional questions for me? No, I don't think so. All right, sounds good. I'm gonna go ahead and send this prescription for what I just put in your head and uh, into your um, pharmacy and you just use it uh, twice a day once in the morning once in the evening okay just rub it in okay sounds good all right thank you and i hope you feel better thank you so much